Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be doing a deck profile for Fluffles. Now this is the anti-meta one I've been using in the tag duels. This deck is absolutely a blast to play because it's like, dude, they're little cuddly animals and then you're like, oh, I attack like 50 times, you lose, or I destroy like all your stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's anywhere near Magician Perform Pals, but this deck can technically beat them because if you summon courtesy of some decks just simply lose. Um, Magician Perform Pal, they do have access to popping monsters through the Pendulum mechanic, but for the most part, if they don't happen to have that card, uh, they usually have a superior consistency. If you guys haven't seen in the OCG, that deck can completely dominates because its consistency is just off the charts but nonetheless it's pretty fun deck and like I said it's budget friendly and pretty much most of the cards are available I believe in the TCG for you guys to build this maybe a few cards here and there won't be available but you know I would say this is still probably going to be a budget deck uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, you know what the other rarities are uh, later down the line when uh, we get some of them because I don't believe we have all of the fusions yet I believe we have uh, the sheep and these these two these are the main ones that you're gonna be needing but um, Nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into the deck profile, and I'll explain the choices as we go along so some of you guys can get a better understanding of why I'm playing certain cards. Because you need to be able to compete with some of the meta. You gotta run the triple Christia. Now, originally when I was running this deck, there was always a problem that I didn't want to just use Polly and use like all the cards in my hand. When I can get an additional summon, whether it be a uh, dog or the owl, to add an extra free card from my deck to my hand. So that was one thing that I really liked uh, adding in was the... Um, ability to go for Valhalla. At one point I was doing double summon. I was trying a lot of different things because sometimes I would just need that one card. Like I need the Sabres and like, or I need Fluffle Dog for that uh, search for Fluffle Wing or I need that Fluffle Bear so I can go for Fluffle Wing. I believe this card is not yet out in the TCG. This is the most important card but it's probably going to be common in before I ruined it and now it's a secret rare. But hopefully this card will be a common once it's out in the TCG. Um, I actually don't remember. Let me look this card out. Fluffle Wing. This, this card's not out, right? Uh, it's called Fluffle Wings. It's coming out in in, um, docks, which is the uh, Dimensions of Chaos. So, yeah, once we get this guy, this deck is just so much better. Like, it makes the deck. It makes the Hand Destruction not even minus. You can go plus in this deck like crazy. Adds really great consistency to the deck, but Basically, Christia is special summon through Valhalla. Also, since everything is fairies, usually you can dump in a bunch of fairies, and then you go Christia, and then you add another card back to your hand. And it's usually a game from there, uh, because you're able to like pop a bunch of cards, and you can top it off with like a Christia. Um, usually, your opponent will just be like, "Okay, game over." <laughs> like you know, especially if they had like you know a bunch of traps and stuff like that. Even if they ruin everything, uh, and you know you go for your card, they ruin it. Uh, what I think is also great, uh, just real quick as uh, mentioned. Uh, Elder God Norden. Uh, originally, I was also playing it to Instant Fusion. We'll get into like why I'm playing some certain things later, or why the side deck looks strange. This is not my real side deck. I was just playing other cards, uh, testing things out. But nonetheless, um, yeah, I actually uh, really like the ability to just had to have Norden because it is a fairy. Uh, if I run to Monarchs uh, and they rip my Echo Deck, that is why there's two, by the way, so I can get two fairies in, and then from there it just can help out with the number. Sometimes I'll just do it. Uh, depending on the number that I need, you know, to support Christia, you pretty much have extra room in extra deck. You don't exceed too much other than rank four, and like randomly you'll make this. But for the most part, you drop like one of these. You want two if each of these. Uh, other than that, though, you have you know a lot of other room in the extra deck. But nonetheless, Christia is required at three. Like, do not skip out on Christia. This card is amazing. It wins games on its own. Uh, next up, three fluff of dog. It's basically Stratos of the deck, and it's got good attack. I like the card. Oh, keep in mind, Valhalla lets you special summon uh, this and this. These are the two cards you basically summon in the deck. The rest of the stuff you don't really bother using at all. And then I'm playing three copies of Hecatrice just so I can get my Fairy Camp up and also add Valhalla, which then gives us more pluses, or Christie. It's just a win condition on its own. Then we have Engine Chain, and then uh, three copies of Fluffle Bear. You use this to discard, uh, well, use this to search for Toy Vendor. Then you go Toy Vendor, discard Fluffle Wing. Then you go ahead, Fluffle Wing, Banish Bear, and then you get to draw two cards, destroy Toy Vendor. Uh, and then you get a search off of that, so it's just so insanely good. Then I'm playing two Edge Imp Scissors, or Sabres over here. Two King of the Swamp, King of the Swamp counts as anything, that's his uh, other effect. You can search out Polly. I actually use both of the effects here. Um, I didn't want to play three Polly. Some people are like, why don't you play three Polly? I don't think it's necessary. You, you go Polly once, and then you destroy everything, and you go for game. That's that's the goal of the deck. Uh, you go for everything, you destroy a bunch of stuff, and then you can go for Frightful Factory. Um, you can bump this up to two if you want, or you can go ahead and play like double Frightful or triple Frightful Fusion if you want. It's really good. It's just it's you fusion some one Frightful Fusion monster from your extra deck by you banishing monsters. Listen up from your side of field or a graveyard. Usually it's your graveyard, so you you go 
for the card that destroys uh, a bunch of cards, and then you can go for like, you basically can go for these two. You can also bust out this, and then this can bring back another one. It's just, you could OTK really quickly in this deck. If you guys haven't seen the video, watch the uh, Fluffle OTK City, like this guy that does this play. Um, his deck build is a little bit different. Um, I can get that deck profile for you guys, but uh, this is the anti-meta-ish one because I think this one it's overall going to have a better chance to compete against you know other meta decks because Christian makes this deck so much better, uh, especially with the Valhalla's. Unless you add the extra free cards and you have the speed with the triple upstarts, three hand destructions. I was thinking about Chicken Race Pseudo Space. But uh, the problem that I have with that is sometimes you need to be able to pop a certain amount of cards and you can't pop the chicken race and then you can't deal damage to your punt. You can't OTK them. But, you know, in the off chance you're able to do it, very awesome stuff. Uh, so yeah, we had Jim Sabres, we got the King of Swamp, 3 Idol, Alice searches out, uh, Polly, and you can buy 500 Diffusion of Summon a Frightful Monster uh, from your hand or your side of the field, and you can only uh, use one Fluffle Owl effect. It's the same thing with like all of them. And you can only use, uh, yeah, you can only use like one effect per turn. And then Fluffle Wing, this is a card, again guys, the combo, real simple. You go Barry, discard, you go ahead and set the Toy Vendor, Toy Vendor activate effect, uh, or summon dog, search for whatever combo piece you need. And then you go for this. Again, the deck has super consistency. When you activate Hand Destruction, always get rid of this card. That is usually the card you want to get rid of. Or you can get rid of this because it has actual utility in the grave. Very good stuff. And then we're playing one Instant Fusion. Again, two Norton. I explained that against Monarchs. It helps you with Graveyard Count. Christy, you summon Christy, it helps out. Because the Monarch deck special summons quite a bit, even though it's Monarchs. Uh, I know Stormforth can you know, ruin it. But uh, some people actually don't even play Stormforth because it's like, too slow. <laughs> you got to wait for your opponent to have stuff. Uh, and they just want to go faster than that. Feral Fusion is like Miracle Fusion, and then we got two poly. Uh, there's just alternate artwork. Someone, I know someone on the stream was like, how do you, what, what's that other poly do? They do the same thing. It's just, there's just different artwork. Just, yeah. Uh, three off start, you can OTK through it, don't worry about it. Three hand destruction, yeah, you require this. Uh, dead Valhalla's dead Hecatrice, there's no problem. It helps you with the graveyard count of Christia, rush the Christia, and then good to go. And then there's Frightful Factory, so you banish Poly, uh, Palm oh, a Palm Resistance spell card or Fusion spell card from your graveyard, except for Diffusion Wave Motion. You summon a Frightful Fusion monster from your extract monsters from your hand or your side of field. If this card is sent uh, to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished Frightful Fusions, add it to your hand. You can only use it at spec one part. You can drop this card if you want. And it's just kind of like randomly, it can be useful. Then through Toy Vendor or, yeah, uh, was it called Toy Pop, I think, before? Nonetheless, for the extract, we got the Saber Tiger over here. And then, uh, we got the Frightful Leo. I don't make this card too often, but, like, randomly, it can be good. I know, like, it has the same effect of Volcasaur. Like, you can't attack directly, but it has its uses. Uh, two Frightful Wolf. Don't skip out on double these. You want double these, and you want double Tiger. Uh, Wolf is the one where it keeps on attacking, and then Tiger's the one where it gets to, uh, pop, uh, like, a bunch of cards. And Frightful Sheep is, like, the... It's like the, the the card that's supposed to protect itself because I remember I made a video talking about how Fluffle is like they would make use a bunch of cards to make one card and then the card would get wrecked by like one card which is totally true like if you use all your cards to go for uh, one of these and then you go compulse mirror force whatever then negate it uh, you lose <laughs> that's kind of how Fluffles are but with the Christia play you're able to not only stall so you can go for the right combos at the right time so you can hopefully. And you go instant fusion, make uh, bait them out to use something, and then you can go for your play, you know. But a lot of decks, uh, you know, in the meta, I know Burning Abyss has a lot of traps, but like if you get, go against Necros, some Necros decks just don't play that many traps at all, or Shadals won't play that many traps, so you kind of can play more aggressive against some of those decks. I know, of course, Necros, they have the Valk, but, you know, they don't have it, you know, you're good to go, right? Uh, Sheep is uh, kind of one of those cards that can help you protect itself, but for the most part, uh, I, I do like two though, it, it does have use, but you can drop this card to one uh, if you want to, like you can easily cut that, throw in some other XYZ, maybe a, uh, I don't know, a giant hand if you want to play, <laughs> play this deck. Uh, I, like I said, I already explained the double Norton, you don't really get to use it. Uh, there's also the Consolar M7, there's 101, Castell, Excited Knight, and Cowboy. There's like this standard four, I'd say, that almost every deck plays. I know there's other cards that are great too, like there's Diamond Crab King, a lot of other great cards um, that you can play, giant hand, obviously, for playing online. Playing in real life, I guess if you have a giant hand, that's good. Uh, these were other cards that I originally was thinking about playing that I really didn't like them too much, but we had Summoner Monk and really so good. Like Summoner Monk got you anything, but with Valhalla, like I didn't like all the spells I liked in the deck, so I didn't really like getting rid of anything. Maybe Toy Vendor, that could be a card. Um, let me read this card again. It's a. Uh, uh, let's see. If this card is sent to the graveyard, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that. Me, that. Uh, I mean. 
I don't know. There's really nothing I really want to discard Sun Rock. Everything's just like really too good. It's like you get that the, uh, the discard ability with Fluffle Wing. It's just too good. Uh, and then we have Edim Saw. Uh, you don't really need it. Yeah, you can substitute. Yeah, no problem. Fluffle Rabbit. This card is sent to the Great Rest Fusion Tree. Target one Edim Slippers or a Fluffle, and you get to add to your hand. Originally, I kind of like this card, but most of the time it was game anyways. If you want to, feel free to try out the card. It's not that bad. Uh, keep Fluffle Mouse. This one was like a uh, potentially bad or good card. It was kind of RNG because if you drew multiple it was terrible because you can't spell something from the hand but you just throw some two fluffles uh mouse from the deck i liked it when you went uh, you could summon uh, you know multiple of these with valhalla so you get three fluffle mouse out you normal summon dog dog to search out whatever combo piece you need poly bam and then you you could have real instant easy access to christia then you could re-add back the card i don't know like fluffle rabbit like i said is not a bad card but uh, for the most part, I wanted like super, super fast consistency. Like every fluffle that I have right now. I mean, there's basically like this gives us draw power. This lets us set up for draw power. Then this is like a deck thinning and combos. Like everything is just oriented around setting up. This is more for like consistency, I guess, replay. Um, but you could technically, I guess, use like one for one with it. Originally, I was playing one for one with uh, Mouse. I, I did play it with Rabbit, but not both at the same time. I mean, you could try it, mix and match, you know, try out things. There's also Fusion Conscription. I like this card because it was too slow. Um, also, you can get wrecked by Mind Crush, but for the most part, this deck kind of lose to Mind Crush anyways because you're, you're getting poly. When you activate something, they're going to be like, oh, he's got to have the Edge Jump Scissors or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's it for the Fluffle deck, guys. If you have any suggestions, uh, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below because I think it's a great uh, like uh, budget-friendly deck and, <laughs> you know, uh, <coughs> oh, dang, dying over here. And a lot of meta decks are pretty expensive in the game, so this one it, it can OTK and it's like you know a lot of cuddly little animals and they turn into like demonic uh, animals that are possessed by like uh, I think they're all possessed essentially by like weapons. Like we got the uh, saw blade, there's the uh, there's the scissors, and then the uh, chains over here and they turn into like demonic. Like look at that thing. That thing is scary looking. I, I'm sure I don't know if this card is out on the TCG. Is this card out? Hold on, let me just check this card out. The frightful Leo, right? Leo. I don't know if we have this card in the TCG yet. Um, okay, we do have it. Okay, did they change it? Let's see. I bet you they changed it. Uh, it they changed the color of the blade, uh, so it doesn't look as scary technically, but... Uh, it, it, oh, did that have blood on it? No, no, they, they both are just like... The claws are just red, okay. So, I mean, it, they, they tried to tone it down, but like these monsters look pretty scary. <laughs> like, Anyways... Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, like I said, check out the Fluffle OTK video. You can see the basic concepts of the deck because it's pretty consistent uh, as far as being able to pull off the OTKs. Again, if your opponent happens to have, like, one card, yeah, you still lose. But, you know, sometimes against the meta, they got no back row. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's been your boy Will Smith, signing out.